Hello, and welcome to Bristol Plymouth Regional Technical School's Virtual Open House 2020. Bristol Plymouth Regional Technical School is committed to every student's success. We believe access to rigorous coursework, such as Advanced Placement, or AP, plays an important role in that success. Today, we'll cover what are Advanced Placement courses, what are the benefits of Advanced Placement, what are the AP exams like? What's it like to take an AP class? And next steps, helping your child make the best choices in regards to advanced placement. Advanced placement, the basics. AP courses are college level courses offered in high school. These courses reflect what's taught in top introductory college courses. Students take AP exams at the end of the course, measuring their mastery of college level work. A score of three or higher on an AP exam can typically earn students college credit and or placement into advanced courses in college. We offer many advanced placement courses here at Bristol Plymouth, such as in English we have AP English Language and Composition and AP English Literature and Composition. In AP History we have AP US History. In AP Mathematics we offer AP Calculus AB and AP Statistics. In the Sciences, we offer AP Biology, AP Computer Science, and AP Psychology. There are many benefits to taking AP. Students learn rigorous college-level content and skills. Taking AP is valued in the college admissions process. In addition, AP courses are interesting and rewarding academic experiences and offer an opportunity to earn valuable credit and placement in college. AP exams are administered by schools worldwide on set dates in May of each year. The exams are typically three to four hours long and include multiple choice questions, free response items such as essays, problem solving questions, document based questions, as well as oral responses. There are many myths and realities about taking AP. One myth is that AP courses are for students who always get good grades. The reality is that AP courses are for any students who are academically prepared and motivated to take college level courses. Another myth is that AP courses are too stressful. The reality is that, although it's no secret that AP courses are challenging, the support you receive from your classmates and teachers can help you manage the workload. Yet another myth is that some people believe that they don't think that they will score high enough on the AP exam to get college credit. The reality is that you don't need to score a five. Many colleges grant credit as well as placement based on a three or higher on an AP exam. A final myth is that taking AP courses could hurt a student's GPA. The reality is that AP courses have a higher weight than advanced and standard level courses. Taking AP courses shows colleges that a student is willing to take on an academic challenge. In order to get into AP courses at Bristol Plymouth, generally speaking, students must follow a particular path. In the case of language arts, incoming grade 9 students placed in honors language arts will generally move or have the option to move to honors grade 10 language arts. In grade 11, they can take AP literature and composition. And in grade 12, they have the opportunity to take AP language and composition. In mathematics, grade 9 students taking honors geometry will generally move to Honors Algebra 2 in their sophomore year and then have the option to move to Honors Pre-Calculus in Grade 11 and finally AP Calculus in Grade 12. In Social Studies, Grade 9 students taking Advanced U.S. History 1 have the option of taking AP U.S. History in Grade 10. And in the Sciences, students in their Grade 9 year taking Advanced Biology Lab have the opportunity to take AP Biology in Grade 10. For more information about AP, it's helpful to visit the following website for AP information, apstudent.collegeboard.org. The College Board website has resources worth exploring for students and families.